This is Zoluma Rock. If you are not in Zoluma Rock, you are nowhere. You better come to Nigeria. And when you come to Nigeria, just come to Abel Kuta. Because here yeah, is where you have everything that you need to enjoy your life. Don't walk, 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 and you don't have time for yourself. No fui el primero, ni seré el último, pero sé que lo cosaré. Para serte sincero, un Dios es el que te enseñó lo que puedes hacer con mi piel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y si se nos da, yeah, será lo que será, yeah. Los dos vamos a matar, yeah. Solo yo sé de ese lunar, solo tú comes el pastel Con estilo siempre te vas, pero te vienes con placer Me dijiste no quiero toda esa curiosidad Okay, this is Dial Central Live and Direct, all the way from the city of Abel Kuta, and we are right in front of Olumo Rock. So let's go inside and enjoy ourselves because it's going to be fun filled. I'm ready to just enjoy my stay here. What really makes sense to me as a person with respect to important sites or anywhere in the world is not just about the aesthetic beauty but about the people that you are actually going to be meeting with over there, they are, the way they interact with you, their disposition and I tell you, Abel Kuta Olumoro got this right as everyone there displayed good interpersonal skills and it was seriously laced with fun i need enough energy to climb this mountain so i had to refuel here and in case i can't pay for this i will help them to wash me i've actually been to one or two mountains before and uh, I tell you, this is the most beautiful. Coming up here to the point where we have just been told that we are just starting our journey. This is the madam that broke the canals back. So, over to madam here. Madam, please, can we just meet you? I'm Folusho Ayeni. Wow. Madam Folusho Ayeni should be held responsible oh. if I decide to come back before getting to the final point because now I'm scared that I need more water and I need more prayer. Keep on praying for me so that I will have strength. Yeah, but you know what? Man. There is power in eating solid food. That's why I did not eat rice. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had solid food so that I will be able to climb this mountain. I'm going to gift Madam a free online course for 50k. She has interest in in fashion. In fashion. Female. Yes. Female. So I'm going to gift her a 50,000 naira worth of class free of charge. This is the base of the rock of the 137 meter above the sea level rock called Olumo Rock. Very good thing is the fact that you can either use this elevator or you come through the stairways if you are coming on top or atop Olumo Rock. And when you get to this part, let me just bust my bubble here. Do you actually see that I'm not trying to look down because I discover I have phobia for height. So let me just pretend as if I'm, I'm very bold. Yes. Right in the middle of this bridge, you can look down and you begin to see some historical places right from the middle of this bridge. So whenever the name Abel Kuta is mentioned, just know that in Africa, we are simply referring to what we call under the rock. Abel Kuta is one of the most beautiful ancient city or Asian town in Nigeria, West Africa. And as a result of that, they derived their name from the war that happened some years back in which the people found solace 
underneath this rock. The starting point is this particular place you are seeing here is the Ojubo of Olumo. Ojubo means the main shrine of the Olumo rock here. This is where they offer sacrifices to the deity of Olumo rock. In appreciation for the protection of this rock during the Egba intertribal war. Can you hear what that, our daddy here is saying? He says Bawa. Bawa means that's exactly true. And you can see our daddy nicely dressed in our Yoruba traditional wear. The Egba people usually come over here to offer sacrifices. They usually use black cow to sacrifice to the god of the, the deity in charge of this Olumo rock. Because the Egba people believe that the deity over here has helped to protect them during the time of war. And they also believe that they can make certain prayers here. And that's why some persons that believe in this, they come here to offer sacrifices and prayer for longevity, for childbearing, for anything. And whenever they discover that their prayers have been answered, they usually bring sacrifices to offer to the God that have provided them with all this. Is it not wonderful? The cultures we have in Africa, especially in Nigeria, and this is the beauty of Ogun State. Tobalo was Ogun State, to the Oluma Rock. If you stay, you will come to Ogun State, and you are not at Oluma Rock. Oh, the baby cousin. The old man gave me a lowdown of the historical facts about this mountain. The year is very, very high. He has the historical fact about this place. Where you are seeing is the main shrine of this rock, of this Olumo. And he just told us now that the main founding father of Egba land is Adagba. And his second called Nikperu. Nikperu. This is this are knowledge you cannot get anywhere. But you can only get it from our daddy like this. The yearly sacrifice that is conducted here is only two persons that can enter here. The paramount ruler of Egba land, Alake, Alake of Egba land, and the Abore of Egba land. The Abore means the chief priest. It's only the two of them that can enter inside here to offer prayers to the god of the Egba land in the Olumo, Olumo rock. While others will be outside here and they make their sacrifice using a black cow, a big uh, black cow. In Yoruba, they call it Malu Tiayin Egbagba. That's what they call it as. Now we are enjoying our beautiful terrain here. It's going to be a very interesting, rocky terrain. Before we go further, you need to see this tree over there that is well spread out. It's usually referred to as flamboyant tree. It's the major producer of this pancheke. I would like to call it substance. <laughs> This mansheke that I'm holding here uh, derives its name from the vibrations, the sound it makes. And it's usually used by those that are into traditional dancing and the likes. So if you want to, you can feel, you can feel it, you can feel it. So this particular stuff is used by those that are into choreography, traditional dance and the likes. And because of the sheke, 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 sheke that it makes, that's why they call it mansheke. And another tree that happens to be of huge interest here is this Dongoyaro tree. This Dongoyaro tree that you are looking at here, the English name for it is called neem leaf. Now, let me tell you a secret. My wife uses this neem leaf to produce some air cream that can cure baldness. One of the beautiful things about Africa is that certain beliefs exist here and it has been proven over some number of times. This particular tree that you are seeing that is growing in between the rock is called Igiodon. I don't know the English name for that. <laughs> I might help in researching because I'm also enjoying myself here. This Igiodon, it has been proven that over the years, no single bird can perch on this tree because any bird that tries that dies instantly are you are you so surprised so many things happen in africa all you just need to do is to understand the process now you can see what we have here a beautiful house 
just inside the Oluma Rock. What I'm about to show you is the house of the late chief. I mean the late popularly known chief Sonny the OC of Itoko land. Those periods when the chief dies, they bury them at the back of their house. And since he resides there, this is where he lives, they buried him at the back of this mountain. So let's hop in. Wow, this is really, really impressive. The house of our popular chief, the OC of Itoko, Chief Sonny. So this is the resting place of the late chief Sonny, the OC of Itoko. And he died in 1956. Immediately you are moving away from the burial place of late chief Sonny the OC of Itoko. What you will be seeing now is the Egba wartime high house. This is where the Egba people actually hid themselves during the intertribal war that ravaged uh, that era. In 1830s, the Egba people were trying to gain their independence from the whole Oyo Empire. And it was at that time that they started to relocate to this environment until another war came up between the Egba people and the Daome people. And at that period, they consulted the Oracle. The Oracle gave them the professional advice that they should have their hideout here. And it was at this hideout they were able to conquer their enemies because they were privileged with the height power of what? Of fighting a war, in which they were able to see their enemies down below and lay ambush against them to attack them before they do. And inside here, we are going to be seeing like five different rooms that they eat themselves during the war time. And uh, their life was fantastically preserved. I'll be taking you inside for you to see what transpired here and you will see the grinding part here where they were actually grinding and preparing their meal so if you are fearless and furious and you are courageous like myself the settler we are going to enter into this cave this is the cave of historical mongujungu <laughs> This is time to have a feel of what people actually experienced during the intertribal war that ravaged the Egba era that time. Wow! You won't believe this. The hair here is perfectly clean, clear, and so interesting. It is at this point, this point that you are looking at. This is where their women were grinding their meals and the like. And you know, because of overtime use, it actually deepened the rock. It actually deepened the rock to this certain extent. They were making, grinding their whatever food stuff, their pepper and the likes. If you grind your pepper or your meal here, yeah, it usually gives you this nice taste. And I'm sure they were enjoying themselves here. But unfortunately, out of the five rooms that were constructed, beautifully constructed underneath this rock, it is only one that is remaining. So, this is the look and feel of what the Agra people enjoyed under this rock. Isn't that very interesting? So, I'll be coming in here. This is where you will see culture and what you're going to be seeing are the ancient deities that are being worshipped here this is where we refer to as Ile Onigun this is where they worship the Igun goddess this is where the worshippers of Orisha Igun have their place and over it here is where we call 
the Obaluaye. This is Ojubo Obaluaye, another god in Abel Kota, right there at Olumo. And as you can see, the beautiful rock cascading all around here with beautiful scenarios and what have you. The beautiful thing is that they are really maintaining this place. And as you can see, there is light here which is also good. I, I can see that there is even uh, pipe bond water linking linking up here and the likes. At this point, this is Ojubo Ogun. The Ojubo Ogun means where they worship the god of iron, the god of metal, the god of poo poo. <laughs> you know gone now? Gone is metal. So this is where they worship the god of uh, iron according to the belief of the Egba people. And outside there is where they have the god of where? Do you want to hear the god I'm going to mention? Outside there is where they worship Satan. The god called Satan, the devil. That's where they worship Satan there. They believe that in worshiping Satan, they have their own personal belief with respect to that. So that is just to tell you about different belief system that of things here in Africa and the likes. Okay, this is another worship point here for another god called Ojubo, Oju Egbe, Alara Agbo. We are going to continue our walk through. That is why Yoruba cannot be toiled with. We have beautiful places in Yoruba land. And if you are in Nigeria, you have not come to our beautiful Egba land, Yoruba land, Anywhere in the West is called Yoruba land. And we have this beautiful tree here called Higiose. It's a very um, highly medicinal tree and is actually being worshipped here. Uh, sacrifices are made there to appease the God. And over here you have the almighty escalator that can take you, instead of just climbing all the way to the uh, top of the mountain, you can use this mighty escalator. Wow. We continue our journey from here. So, this is highly beautiful. This is Egba land, the beauty of mother nature. Looking down here, you will just see a lot that is called breathtaking. Okay, at this point, we've come to where we have some sculptures here. The sculptures here are in two phases. The standing sculpture represents those that survived the war, the ancient war at that time, and those whose heads were buried are representing those that lost their life during the war. And over here is the main chief in charge of the war by name, Lushabi Agbongwakala. This happens to be a very powerful uh, warrior at that time that helped to uh, spearhead the battle that the Egba people fought then. And over there we have Shodeke. The Shodeke that you are seeing here happens to be the same person that helped in bringing Christianity into the whole of Egba land. And very soon I'm going to be showing you the first church in Nigeria. Now, the cowries that you are seeing being creatively inserted here represent the kind of money that we were spending here. It's called in Yoruba language, Owoeyo. This happens to be the means of exchange in Nigeria, specifically. The image here represents the first king of Egba land, popularly known as Oromiyo. And beside him is the wife, who can be called the queen or the Olori, the wife of the king, who happens to be the only female amidst all these strong men. Now, we want to get to the peak of the mountain and we are left with the option of either using the leaf or going through the natural path which has been used before the construction of the leaf or the stairways but powerfully enough by God. I don't know how God seems to have a system of creating things. He created this rock and laid it right from the bay up down there so that People can actually climb on this rock before the uh, setting up of these bridges that you are seeing here. People go naturally via this rock as a stairway all the way up. So if you are not fearful, 
If you are strong like myself, let's hop in and enjoy the natural flow. Wow, this, this is beauty. And I'm so impressed. This is high tea in Africa. Do you want to do scuba diving or high tea? Hey, let me go this way. I'm seeing almost the top of every part in this town. I'm seeing all the rooftops. Wow. I'm seeing all the rooftops in this town. And there seems to be like there are so many rocks all over. You can see some other rocks apart from this. This is really breathtaking. Wow. This is really, really breathtaking. And behind me is this powerful tree that is growing out of the rock. It's called Igi Akoko. This Igi Akoko is what is being used to crown the chief, the king. It's for chieftaincy title. That's what they use in their crowning celebration. I think I just need to catch my breath because let me gather confidence because this is really, really, I'm seeing human being like small, small structures. Wow. It's now time to really look for help here because what I'm seeing here, I'm afraid of height. Ah, what I'm seeing here, I don't want to look down. Because I don't want to be scared. <laughs> I'm really, really scared of what I'm using my leg and my hand to go to pass through here. Wow. Wow. I think I'm just going to crawl. <laughs> Are you sure I can do this? I don't think I don't think I can do this. <laughs> Who sent me? I think I'm more comfortable with my leg. this boy is just moving fast I just have to ensure that I hold something then eh eh where am I going to no it's not me it's not me that will follow that path so. yeah let me follow here ah this place is better who sent me message oh, next time I will use please if you I'm afraid of height like myself. Just use the stair. Use the stairway. Ah, Duro! I can do this. I can't do this, bro! <laughs> <laughs> My goodness! 
I don't care what you guys feel. I don't care how you feel about me that a guy is behaving like this, but uh, I know that my children are still very small. Uh, wow. I tell you, if you're afraid of it, please don't try the natural part. Don't try. So, now I can begin to form. I begin to release Oibo like I used to. Mm -mm, Oibo, as you see, I'm still catching my breath. But one thing I realize is that, please, this is 137 meters above the sea level. If you are coming here, if you are not good with height, they have stairways that you can actually follow. If that are you, Shemi, going down, I'll follow the stairways. Wow. This is the apex point of the powerful Olumar Rock. Rock. Olumar Rock is a very, very interesting climb, a very interesting mountain or mountain, anyhow, as I pronounce it. But something happened here several years back. I was told that three white men actually came down to this rock and they said they were looking for either gold or whatever, according to history, that I got right from uh, an elderly man here. They came here and they wanted to blast this rock. But they discovered that while they were trying to blast this rock, instead of the rock being blasted here, it was another part down there that was affected, that was impacted. And all of a sudden, blood was flowing out from this point. That got them scared and they had to drop and stop whatever they were doing there. And that is why we still have our beautiful Oluma rock remaining as a blessing. A tourist attraction destination for you and I to come up today and experience the beauty of nature. I'm going to be showing you around the city. Right from this rock, you can see all the settlement, all the settlement around the whole of Abel Kuta. This is actually the place to be. And in case you are seeing this and you are interested in coming over to Africa, especially places like this, Polumo Rock and some other nice centers, you can definitely let me know so that I'll bring you to Egba, Egba, Egba Land. I'll bring you to Abe Okuta here in Ogun State, the only city where the pronunciation or the spelling of a single word gives you several meaning in terms of pronunciation in Yoruba language. Because when you spell the word Ogun, you can actually have it interpreted in several ways. It can be Ogun as in Juju. It can be Ogun as in 20. It can be Ogun as in War. It can be Ogun as in Long. And it can be Ogun as in Ichukam. And it can be Ogun as in Sweat. It can mean several things. That is to tell you that this is the beauty of Africa. And your interpretation about this city actually depends on which angle you want. And from that central, I'm telling you that this is high time to chill out.